Okay, real quick, you guys, because I'm about to drive off from the my current location, so I'm going to leave this real quick. Um, previously, I left the uh, audio about I'm not interested in um, black politics. That actually, that that audio was supposed to be about this what I'm talking about now, but I got kind of carried away with the whole black politics thing and why I, it's it's a waste of time to really try to do anything at this point. But you know, people have a right to have their own desires and interests. But you know, I'm not. I I, I can't. I've dealt with so much. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have dealt with so much warfare spiritual warfare that I understand how precious energy is I, I have I have a all new respect for energy and one thing you would do if you ever get involved I'm gonna get off this because I don't want to get into it again one thing you will ever do when you're trying to reach black people you will waste a whole lot of energy you will be depleted and I have coming out of spiritual and I'm still dealing with spiritual warfare um, you know, and, and it's family members, it's family members, because you try not to, you don't want to really hurt them, but you get to a point where you're going to have to hurt them, um, because if, if you don't do something to them, they'll do something to you. Um, and, and, and so that takes a lot of energy, and, I, and with that being said, um, I, have a, I have all new respect for energy and how I, I, I want to use it. Uh, because I understand how precious it is. And putting energy on something that's pretty, pretty much going to be in vain, um, that that is that's not well that's that's a no-go for me uh, because why waste your energy like that why not give that energy to somebody who can re who's going to do something productive with it if you're going to give your energy away go give it to a group of people who's going to be productive who's going to produce fruit don't give your energy to a group of people who's going to okay throw in your pearls to swine because energy to be honest with you, are pearls. Knowledge is pearls too. And so people think that's pearls, but energy is really pearls. And you, it's good to throw it to something that's going to produce fruit instead of throwing it to swine. And right now, the majority of Black America are just swine. Okay, and you, you want, you, uh, you know, that's that'll be it for that conversation. But I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about this self love stuff. Okay. It's a lot of self-love gurus going around, and I'm not talking about in, about anybody in particular because I see a lot of black women specifically. Now, it's, it's women all over the world to do it. But like I said, I'm not going to waste my commentary talking about them because why would I even pay attention to what they're doing? They're doing their thing, and they're doing actually pretty good for themselves, so it's no need for me to even, even talk about them. But... Um, <clears throat> Uh, when I talk about a lot of black love gurus, especially with black women, I'm talking about women all around. So I'm talking about women with Instagram pages. I'm talking about black women on Facebook. I'm talking about even black women on YouTube or anywhere. You know, or you have these women conferences or women empowerment and all that stuff. So it's, it's not just a particular person I'm focused on, but I want to talk about, tell this. Um, I'm going to say this and it's not going to sound right. You better off not getting black love advice from a black woman. I, and I do call them black because they fit that description. Now, I can tell you one person that I've seen that is, well, maybe a couple that I've seen that's been public. That, that, that um, is probably be okay, pretty good to get self-love advice from. And even if you if even if you notice character flaws in this person, because I don't know how people feel about people, that's not the point. Because if you get to know me, you might find stuff wrong with me too. Who knows? But CK is a person to me that can give self love advice, and I'm going to tell you why in just a little bit. Um, even if you don't, even if they've done a lot of things that you don't like, even if you notice a lot of some character flaws going on. One thing that CK will not ever tell you to do is to waste your energy on people who don't reciprocate. She will never, I've never, I've followed CK for, I, well, I, I've listened to CK, I've known of CK, um, what was it? She's been around a while, but I'll say about 2015, 2014, okay? I'll say something like that, okay? About five, six years, okay? Um, even though she's been around longer than that. And so, yeah, I've seen some things that just don't, that, that might not add up. You, But if I was a public figure, who knows what people might say about me as well, okay? So that's why I say I'm going to look, look at the kind of advice they really give out, okay? Um, you will never hear 
CK talk about black love, you will never hear her tell you to um to support a group of people who don't support you back. Meaning it could be black men, it can be transgender, it could be um, Hispanic, it can be immigrants. You will never hear a woman, you will never hear her tell you to support people who don't support you. You will never hear her tell you to, to waste your energy on a group of people who's not going to, 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 who's not going to sew back into you. Because she had to actually learn that herself, okay? Because I, I, a lot of people were pulling from her energy real bad, okay? So that's one person, even if it's certain character flaws that you might see, that's still a person who who can who do who does a little better with giving self love advice, even though you know you might see you know you, it could be a couple of things that you might not like, okay, um, and you know it, it's a couple of other ones. Of course, we know Kendall St. Charles. You know she always talk about. Um, uh, one-sided loyalty is for suckers you know she the first person i heard say that and so and, and i'm going to leave it at there okay because it could be other ones but i don't really know i don't i don't you like i said i'm not on a lot of blogs and all that stuff and so i can't really name a whole lot of them so i'm going to leave it right there okay and the reason i'm gonna leave it right there because those women are more into self-preservation right now brown women if you want to call yourself brown or black women they need to be more into self-preservation more than anybody else on the planet. And so any other woman that give you advice other than self-preservation, they cannot give you self-love advice, okay? I'm going to say what I've seen from a couple of them, okay? So like I said lately, I think it was last week, a week before, I don't know, it was this transgender thing going on with Maliki Yoba or something like that, right? Um... And there's nothing wrong if these group of women, if these couple of women, well, this, you know, yeah, I've seen a couple of them. If they want to support transgender, that's fine. But at the, at, to be honest with you, um, from what I know about the mental state of majority of black women, um, they only they need to support themselves 100%. They don't even have any room to lend any support to anybody else with the mental state that most black American women are, are in right now. They don't even have the room to lend support to anybody else because they are really so, so mentally, dis they are so disconnected from... Um, from from the highest source they are so they are so heavily disconnected from the intuition they are um their their emotions are all out of whack which which i know their hormones are out of whack they're not giving birth to healthy children a lot of them keep having miscarriages or dying in these hospitals black women um out of all the women in the united states black women are just doing the worst in every area in every statistics not you know and, and just about um Every negative statistic, I'll say, every negative statistic, black women just seem to be, they're the highest with the STDs. They're the uh, most to get murdered due to domestic violence. Black women, the, you know, Successful Ladies Live talked about the gun range, uh, not the gun range, but the gun memorial a lot. And she showed, she made a couple of videos constantly talking about that. Um, and black women, you know, so with that being said, there's no room um, for black women right now to really lend their support, okay? And so, and but lending your support to people um, who clearly don't support you. I've heard time and time again from a lot of black women who invited these transgenders into their spaces that these transgenders, they like to take over. They only want to talk about their own problems and they don't care about what's going on with really black biological women, which people like to call cis women. I, I just call them black biological women. You know, these, these transgender, for the most part, don't care what's going on with black women. They only care about themselves. And so anybody who tells you to support a group of people who don't support you back, who don't care about your, what's going on with you, but they keep telling you to, to have their back. And then you have self-love women, self-love biological black women, who, who, can, who can clearly see that these group of people don't really care about biologically born black women. Okay, they don't, they don't really care about those type of issues. They only care about themselves. 
but these same self-love women want to tell you that you wrong for not supporting them that they're not really good at that they're not the ones to tell you what self-love is because like i said you will never hear the two women that i talked about earlier you will never hear them tell you to support this group of people uh and not because they're transgender it's because these these group of people seem to be misogynist towards black women the same way a lot of black men are okay they seem to have the same misogynistic um ways towards black women um so that's why i say regardless even though some of these couple you know you might notice character flaws those are the, the and it might be a couple other black women i can or brown women i can you know think of but for right now you know those i, I can't think of too many now here's another group of brown women black women who um who 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 um I don't know their names. I'm just going to give an example of of what the things that they do because there's a whole lot of them. Like I said, I can't really give names. There's so many of them. Um, but they 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 talk about self love. They talk about these beauty products and they got all this self love going on and they you know they talking about all of that. But then they're pro black. If 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 you are a, if a person is a pro black woman then she has no self-love okay i'm just gonna make that clear if she is a pro-black woman she has no self-love unless you know uh i can see pro-black woman like pro-black like you're pro for women you know for, for people for yourself okay but if you're pro-black in a sense where you're like that 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 director ava duvernay or whatever her name is or you like one of those women that still um that still defend uh, black men's plight. You're constantly talking about black men. You're constantly talking about black men getting shot. And then the minute somebody, especially, I've, I've tried to have this conversation with women like that. The minute I say something about the 64,000 black women who went missing, the minute I talk about the child trafficking, the minute I talk about all these girls getting molested, the minute I talk about how these women have these complicated births and a lot of them die in the hospitals, a lot of them have miscarriages, when I talk about that, it goes like they don't hear me. They don't hear me. The only thing they care about is black men and little black boys. But then again, they don't care about these black boys being shot. So it just makes me wonder how much they care. Because if they care about the black men, they should care when they're boys and they should care that these they're getting shot. Okay? So, so I think that's a little backwards too. But anyway, those type of women, and it's a whole lot of them, they like to talk about self-love and beauty products and taking care of yourself but then but then they tell you then they want to get into all of this pro-blackness into all of this um fight the power type stuff and what's going on with black men and, and, and what's going on with the black community okay any woman that's doing that i don't care how much she talk about self-love she has no self-love she has no self-love because she's giving her energy to a group of people who do not reciprocate and they and by this time majority of black women should know that the group of people they keep supporting do not reciprocate but they keep giving their energy away it, 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 i'm gonna tell you this this is what i'm this is what i'm saying there is no self-love period and I learned this the hard way because of the spiritual warfare that I've been in there is no self-love period in giving your energy to a group of people who don't reciprocate constantly now I can see maybe once or twice or something like that like if you give your energy to a job you expect to get a paycheck and if you want to volunteer it's because you feel so good about you know you you want to you want to just do something for somebody else but most of the time you really should want to do for other people when your life when you feel full when your cup is full if your cup ain't full and you're trying to do something for somebody else and your cup is it's not even halfway full it's almost empty but you still then that's a lack of self-love and a lot of the the, the 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 women that i described the characteristics where they tell you to support um a group of people whether it's transgender whether it's black men and then you have a group of women that want to support all these immigrants more specifically the mexicans and stuff and i don't have nothing against mexicans but black people have no business defending anybody else but themselves okay but black men have no problem defending themselves it's the black women <laughs> okay so um See, black men can talk about self-love all day long because they, they, they're into, they're, they're all into self-preservation and everybody seeing them and, you know, they're all into themselves. <laughs> but um, black women have a problem 
with 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 preserving their energy they have a problem with protecting their space and for that reason it's really you cannot a majority of black women cannot give self-love advice because they do not have self-love nobody with self-love would constantly tell you to support a group of people who don't return it because your energy you get you're constantly giving your energy and energy and energy imagine working 40 to 60 hours on a job right and you don't get a paycheck that is what happens when you support transgenders and have them all up in your space but then when it comes to you when you want to talk about yourself they want to shut you down when you want to support a group of men who don't support you back that's like working a 40 to 60 hour a week job and not getting a paycheck that's what you're doing that is not self-love so these women any woman period and you will only see black women doing this i really don't see nobody else doing it that that constantly want to talk about this self love and and all this eating healthy. Okay, I can see if you want to eat healthy, but if you give your energy away, then what's the point of eating healthy if you want to keep giving your energy away anyway? Just eat some doggone burgers, eat some burgers because you're giving your pearls to swine anyway. Okay, <laughs> so um, so yeah, that's all I got to say about that. That um. Only it's only probably one percent or two tops of black women that can truly give you self-love advice right to be honest with you it's it's best not to try to take any self-love advice from a black woman because for the most part a lot of black and i'm talking about black american i'm not talking about black women all over the world i'm not talking about black american and, and black american women from the united states specifically okay because I can't talk about other black women around the diaspora because I don't know enough about their culture. I don't know enough about their world. I don't, I don't talk to them enough to really include them in these conversations, okay? And I don't, I don't need to because, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into my own, okay? <laughs> They're doing their thing. I'm going to do mine until, ever, until all these women open up themselves and decide that we can all come together and work together. I'm going to be into my own, and that's just how it's going to be, okay? But, uh... But yeah, that's all I gotta say. So yeah, so you guys can probably, you probably, you guys probably had some ideas of who I was talking about, and that's fine. I'm not trying to be messy, but nobody, none of these people can give you. I've only seen maybe one or two people that can really give self love advice. Other than that, a lot of these women give all this self love and eating healthy and beauty products and all this stuff, but then turn around and tell you to to, um, to support people. Who don't support you and um, that means that, and that's the equivalent of working 40 to 60 hours without getting a paycheck amount putting uh, imagine putting that amount in amount of energy into something and not getting anything back and that is what you're doing um, when you're supporting people who don't give back not only do they not support you they are abusive they are abusive okay so um you know and then they you know they tell you who they who you should be dating right they they tell you who you should be dating but um they tell you to date to stay with a group of people hold on the guys they tell you to stay with a group of people who are not well known for um providing for their families but they want to keep that eye on the small percentage of uh, couples that seem to be doing well and tell you to give up your life and your happiness um, and to keep your hopes on the little small percentage instead of opening yourself up and open, opening up your options to the millions and billions of other choices that you have to choose from. They, want, they, they tell you to limit yourself to this little few. And that right there is not self-love either. And so at this point, I'm going to just end it right here. I can't, black women, you do better taking self-love advice from anybody but a black woman. Okay? Anybody but a black woman. Except for maybe a couple of ones. I, I, I know, I know um, there's been some things going on. I really don't know what's been going on with that. But, but one thing I've never heard them do is tell you to give your energy 
to a way to a group of people who do not give, who do not reciprocate, who do not pour into you. I've never heard them give that advice. And for that reason, what I say they can be, I feel like they are more decent than a lot of these other women who, pro who proclaim to be self-love gurus, okay? So with that being said, I will talk to you later.